noise pollution. So, sound is a mechanical energy from vibrating source. Unpleasant sound and unwanted sound is known as noise. Sound can be measured in two units. We can measure the frequency of sound by calculating the number of compressions. That is, whenever sound waves come close to each other and rarefaction when sound waves move apart. So, number of these compressions and rarefactions in unit time can be calculated and this is known as frequency. Unit of frequency is hertz. Sound can also be measured in terms of decibel. Decibel gives us an idea about loudness. So, decibel unit can be calculated by using the parameter that is known as sound pressure level formula. In sound pressure level formula, we can use logarithmic equation and thereby we calculate the sound pressure by comparing it with a reference pressure. So, according to the loudness of sound, that means decibel, decibel scale, we can analyze the sound loudness of rusting leaf is very low, just 10 decibel. But on the other hand, if we consider motorcycle, food blender, they emit large amount of sound around 90 decibel. Moreover, loudness of sound is extremely high when we consider jet plane. Jet plane has a loudness of around 140 decibel. So, there is a tolerate unit or we can say threshold unit of 130 decibel beyond which a person will lose the ability to hear completely. Sources of sound, sources of no noise pollution are, uh, for example, first mode of transportation. So, vehicle, railway, aeroplane, all emit large amount of noise. Other sources are industrial operation, construction activities, ceremony or any function. For example, social function, religious function, election campaign, etc. Noise pollution can interfere with communication. A person who is exposed to noise can permanently lose the ability to hear properly. Sometimes, this is a temporary hearing disorder. That means, for a short time, the person is unable to hear and when the source of sound is removed, then person return back to its normal state. But at times, if a person is exposed to high level of noise for a long period of time, then he or she may lose the ability to hear permanently. Apart from this, high noise pollution can lead to hypertension, insomnia, digestive disorder, behavioral changes, etc. So, noise pollution is specially very high during Diwali. Though Diwali is a festival of light, but during Diwali, we also not notice higher level of noise pollution. To control Diwali noise pollution, Rule 89 has been added in the Environmental Protection Act of 1986. And according to this rule, manufacture and sale of firecracker which generate noise of more than 125 decibel is strictly prohibited. Second, there is a prohibition of burning of firecrackers in silent zone, for example, in uh, near to the hospital, educational institute, etc. Plus, firecrackers are allowed to be burned only between 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Thank you.